Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. And in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create custom taxonomies in Divi. And we're going to be using a new feature on our website, and that's a custom taxonomy generator. You can do it for free. The link will be in the video description or ever on the blog post. So we're going to be showing you, you know, what this even is and how you can use it, how you can add extra taxonomies like tags and categories, um, but special ones, ones that you make custom um, for any of your custom post types. All right, well, let's show you how to do this. If you don't know what taxonomies are, just stick around and you'll probably soon realize, oh yeah, you already knew what they were. Um, you just may not have known what they were called. So I'm over here on my blog post. I'm going to be referring to that. If you're watching this on YouTube, it will be helpful to open up the blog post because I'm going to have at the bottom, I'm going to have this guide on how to use our free generator. So you may need that. And there you go. You can have it open as a reference over there. So like I was saying, um, you can click on here for our free custom taxonomy generator. And that's right here. So when you come here to this page, we have one on post types. You can see that we already did that one. We've already done that video and that blog post. You can see that. And we're adding on to that now by doing taxonomies. So taxonomies, in my own definition, is a way to categorize and classify, you know, information related to the post types. So post types are ways to categorize content and then taxonomies are ways to categorize post types. There. That's one way of looking at it. So when you're here, it's automatically on post types. So just click this tab and it switches. And then you can go here and fill this out and we're going to get to that. So keep that open. So first let's talk about taxonomies and let's talk about the ones that are already in your website and whether or not you knew what they were called. So by default, WordPress comes with two of them and they come under the posts, post type. So under the blog post, right here they are. You can see categories and tags, All right? So those are ways to, well, categorize your posts. And that, that makes a lot of sense. They're called categories. But the name categories is a taxonomy. And then you can make as many as you want. And then tags, that's also a taxonomy. It's a tag, but it's, you know, it's just another way of organizing your posts. And there's also in Divi projects. So projects is a post type, a custom post type that they have included in the theme. And they also come with their own categories and tags. See that for projects. So, and then um, if you watched my other video, which I hope you did on custom post types, there's also certain ones in WooCommerce. So under, well, it's under products. Products is the post type. And then you can see here there's categories, tags, and attributes. So see there you can have more than just the ones that come by default. And if you had an events calendar, like the events calendar, you know, like our plugin that goes with that for Divi, the, the events have event categories and tags that you can use. So there you go. Those are taxonomies. So the point of this here is to make your own taxonomies. So, and there's also a really cool thing that I should point out is that you can use the theme builder for these and it's just incredible what you can do with the theme builder. So kind of stick around. I'm going to be having a course on the theme builder and that's also going to be included in my, my main course that I have beyond the builder. So just all about the theme builder, but it's just incredible what you can do with that. And especially with custom post types and taxonomies. So anyway, that's how you would basically integrate them with Divi. But how do we make them? So you could use a plugin. You could use something like custom post type UI. You could use something like pods and there's a bunch of other ones, you know, post type creator and all those that make, you know, they make it really easy. But here's the thing, you're adding another plugin and you've got to keep it installed. So I don't know, there's a lot of extra code. Why not just use the generator? And when you use my generator, you, you'll see how small the snippet is. It's really not big at all. And you can just add that and then you're good forever. All right, so that's my other option. Use a plugin or use a generator. To me, it just makes more sense to use the generator. There's just, there's just no way around it. And the cool thing about ours is that it does auto-populate the fields, and I'll show you what I mean by that. 
All right, so make sure you have it open. We're gonna get started and showing you how to use this. Here, I'll just point out that I already made a post type in the last video and I called it cats. And I just went in and filled in different cats here. So I have four of them in here right at this point, but I would like to categorize them. And so I need some taxonomies. So let's make one. Um, I'm gonna go in here and go over the settings. So here, name, that's, that's really simple, a singular and plural name. And I'll show you what I mean by auto-populating. So I want to have a taxonomy for breed. So I wanna organize my cats or filter them or search whatever by breed. So if I type that in, you see how it already filled in breeds. It filled in the key, which is like the code, how it's, that's how everything references it basically. It's, yeah, it's a technical thing. Um, and then it filled in all of these labels, breeds, Look at that, parent breed, view breed, edit breed. See that, isn't that great? So basically, most of the work is done, if not all of it. You could go and generate it right now. Um, but I will take a minute just to explain a couple more things here. Now, this post type section, you can choose, we're, we're, we're making a taxonomy and we need to choose what post type to apply it to. So we could we could make, another one and apply it to our blog post. You know, we have categories, tags, and maybe we have another one. I don't know, I can't even think of one. But, and you could choose that. Okay, it's going to apply it to that. But I don't want that. I want to apply it to my custom one. So here it's saying, enter your custom post type. Um, basically, it's the key that we assign in the post type video and I am going to go in here now and just refresh my memory of what it is. So go to appearance theme editor and you'll go down here to where your custom post type was placed in the functions.php file. Again, make sure you're checking out the other video. I'm not gonna go over all that again. So here it is. So here is our custom post type and it's just cat. See, small cat, all right. So I know that my custom post type here is cat. Great, now we're going to be applying it to that. And labels, they're kind of self-explanatory, but they show up all around WordPress. Now some of these hierarchical, so like, well, here, I should probably go into the blog post. All this stuff is here in the blog post. I explained all these options, okay? But basically it's like when you have a child of a category, so, like you can go into your categories. I'll just show you really quick. Like let's say I go into categories and I wanted to have like under community, this one that I already had here, I want to make a new one. So like, I don't know, events, something. And then I could choose community as the parent and see now that one's underneath that. And when I would view this, the you can see that the slug is, is my domain.com slash category slash community slash event. So it's like, see how it's hierarchical. It keeps going down the line other than just being, you know, community for that one. Okay. So that, that's all that means by hierarchical and then public, just set that to true, um, show admin UI, you know, yeah, that, sometimes that will show up in the back end of your, of your site. Like here, if I was to go and edit this category, this taxonomy, see how it says view category up here at the top, things like that. That's what it means by um, show admin UI. Now show admin column, that's another one of these. We have these all set to true. I'm just showing you real quick what they are. Show admin column basically means when I'm over here at all my posts, or if I was you know looking at all my cats, see these columns? This first column is the title, author, categories, tags. Do you see that? These are columns here. And that's what that's saying. Do you want to show that? Yes, we do. Um, show in navigation menus. Yeah, we want it to be in a navigation menu. You could go into your navigation area and here's it, appearance menus. And it'll show up there. So when you have your screen options on, make sure screen options is on for all of these different things. And then like here, tags was off. And they show up down here. So what, it's just basically a way, oh, I can select that tag, add it to my menu, right? So it's it, that's what that question is asking you about. 
And then showing tag clouds. Well, tag clouds, you know, they're in your widgets. So if you go to widgets, which... You know, there's one in here somewhere. Uh, tag cloud. There it is, tag cloud right here. So I can add this widget to, you know, maybe my sidebar, something like that. And so that's what that's... See here it says taxonomy. Good example. And then I could pick the one. So when we make a new one, we'll be able to pick to show as a tag cloud. Isn't that cool? So that's all because we have, you know, this set to true. So we're ready to generate. All we did was type in our name and that's pretty much it. The cat post type and then left these all to true and then hit generate. You'll get a pop-up like this. Click on copy and then go back over to your uh, website and go to the appearance and then theme editor. We're going right back in where we were. I'll just we were in here in the functions.php. Again, make sure you're looking at my other previous tutorial on the custom post types. So you'll need a child theme, of course. So you just go down here. Right here is my code. This this section here is my cat custom post type. See? Just that little snippet. Why well, use a plugin for that? And then this one that I'm going to paste. Okay. Now this here is my taxonomy. So now, under catch, you watch, when I update the file, and then refresh the page, now our, under catch, there's breeds, okay? So I could come in here and, oh my goodness, I have no idea. Isn't there like long-haired? Okay, long-haired, I'm pretty sure that, I don't know if that's a breed, but you know what I mean. And then, <laughs> Wow, we're very creative today. Somebody that knows about cats can help me out here. All right, so now that there I created some, those, those are like categories in a way. So now if I go to my cats, see how breeds came up here? Remember we chose the column thing? We, we wanted it to show in a column that I could go into Boswell and pick long-haired, update, good. Or I could go in and edit the actual cat post type and I could go down here to breeds right here on the side and click short haired or whatever and update. Okay. And I could go back here, right here to the generator and say, yeah, I really like that, but I also want one, you know, I want to show what color they are. So type in color and we know we still want it to be cat and we want all these to be true and generate it and then copy that and go in here and paste it in again. So functions.php down at the bottom. So we had, you know, the one for read and then we could add the one for collar and we could put that in there. Refresh and now I have collars that I could add for my cats. All right. Now one more thing. I'll show you quick where that shows up in the theme builder. So if I go to Divi theme builder and if I was going to assign a template for, you know, my, my cat breeds or my cat collars, Right, so here I have a cat's archive page. That was a template, but if I want to make a new one for the cat, you know, let's see here, breed pages, all breed pages. Um, yeah, so here was my cats, right? That's from the custom post type, but the taxonomies will show up under archive pages, okay? And here you can see collars, all color, all, all breed pages, all color pages, and then, yeah, just specific category pages, specific color pages, so you can choose all of them, specific ones. Yeah, it's so much you can do with this theme builder. It's incredible. That's not really what this is about, but you can add what, I guess I should show also, you can add a taxonomy to any of these other post types. So post maybe, maybe I wanna add another one here to post. So let's, let's actually do that, it's a really good idea. All right, so let's go back here and make another one. Let's say I wanted to make one, like like for my site, if I wanted to do this, like tutorial. So if I was gonna make like a category of my posts and call it tutorial, I could say post there and then generate this. Okay, copy that and then go back to, go in here to functions.php again, paste it in, update the file. And then refresh. 
and then I'll look under my posts and look at that. So you have categories, tags, and tutorials. So you can add them to existing post types as well. All right, so if you want to take this any further, if you were interested in what I was talking about with the theme builder, then definitely check out my course, Beyond the Builder. I have that linked in the blog post. Go check that out. I'm going to cover the theme builder in depth in that course. So you can check that out if you're interested. Okay, so that's how you create and how you use custom taxonomies in your Divi website. And of course, be sure to check out the other one that we did on creating custom post types there with that same generator. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this. Let us know what you would like to see next and we'll see you guys in the next video.